first Star Wars movie came out when I was in kindergarten. And I absolutely loved that movie. It completely mesmerized me as a child. And then from then on, I couldn't wait to see the next one. Empire Strikes Back came out when I was in third grade and Return of the Jedi came out the summer after sixth grade. My brother picked us up the last day of school and took us to see it. And it kind of changed the imagination that I had as a child. And I know it still does to this day for many others. So one of the coolest things that they had was the guns that they used. And I didn't know it at the time, but as I became uh, more knowledgeable on firearms, I realized they were actually just using very traditional guns, mostly German guns. So what we're going to take a look at is we're going to take a look at the top five Star Wars guns in real life. Number one, Han Solo's DC-44 Blaster. What this is is a modified Mauser C96, otherwise known as the broom handle. Created in Germany from 1896 to 1937, it was a semi-automatic, traditionally firing the 9mm Parabellum, but it was made in several other calibers. It was one of the major sidearms of Germany during World War I. And to be quite honest, they did very little to hide that this is a Mauser C-96. Number two, the Stormtroopers standard issue firearm, the E-11. All this is is a modified British Sterling submachine gun in 9mm. The Sterling was produced during World War II to replace the Sten gun. It was made from 1944 to present. Clearly it was an awful choice for the Empire as all the Stormtroopers were just terrible shots with this gun. Number three. The Rebels standard issue rifle, the A280, premiered in Empire Strikes Back. All this is is a modified SGG-44. The SGG-44 was produced from 1943 to 1962, firing the 7.92 by 33 traditionally. This machine gun can fire up to 600 rounds per minute. Like the Empire, it clearly didn't do the Rebels very good. Number 4, Princess Leia's Defender Blaster. What they chose was the Soviet's 22 lr the Kalashnikov Margolin, or MCM, or practice pistol. Produced in the 1950s to present, this 22 lr was made in the Soviet Union to actually be a practice pistol. And all they really did was extend the barrel to make it Princess Leia's sidearm. And finally, number five, my all-time favorite, the Jawas Ion Blaster. The reason I like this so much is it is, it is clearly just a modified Enfield number one. The Lee Enfield was produced from 1895 to 1904 and they made over 17 million of these. Firing the 303 British, the Jawas Iron Blaster, clearly just took out the electronics of robots. So there you go, there's my top five Star Wars guns in real life. I'm sure there's tons of them that I missed. If you have any, put them in the comments below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. <laughs>